He been knew that the music industry was fake, but this man right here just exposed that even the biggest artists be fake as hell too. I remember I Love McConaughey, right? He made Club Going Up on a Tuesday. There was a point in time when people unironically had Tuesday as their favorite day of the week because of him. Ever since then, he hasn't really had a hit song. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of forgot about him. And apparently those same artists that was fucking with him when he was popping gave him the cold shoulder and acted like he didn't exist when he fell off. But he recently did a song with NBA Youngboy and I guess the YB effect came into play. Because them same artists who acted like he ain't exist started hitting him back up when he dropped a song with YB. He went straight to exposing the DMs. First one on the list was Sway Lee. He said, yo, what's up? What's good with you? Absolute crickets. He even sent him his own music and Sway Lee made it completely obvious he ain't care because he went straight to talking about the new stuff. Now this not a good look for either one of them. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. Hit Post Malone with the triple text message and the heartbreak emoji. Then Post Malone go respond after he dropped with Youngboy and call him dad? What the hell going on here? Even Metro Boomin ghosted his shit. After he dropped with Youngboy, he wanted to start working with McConaughey again, bro. I swear the industry is cold. 